We're hooked on Dosh. We just can't stop. Because if we do, we might just drop playing this game. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just good. Just singing a bit. But we were just like, that, was, that was a good one. I just want to tell you about Hooked on Dosh. Because, you know, it, it's... We should just it's say like it, it's Dosh is habit forming. It is. It's like so we're here on one hour. Twenty five percent more cocaine. <laughs> it's, it's like Dosh is actually printed out of coca leaves. Wow, that yes. would explain a lot. <laughs> that you, just like, you don't even have to do the coke. You just like rub the money into your teeth. That would explain why. Rubbing it know. into your teeth would be less effective. That that'll explain why the trader wants it so much. Yeah, or just why you would throw it everywhere, or uh, the look on <laughs> what's his face's face. Making it rain. Making it rain. Making it rain everywhere. Shall we get stuck the in? The trader must be constantly blitzed. She <laughs> so like, dude. If you okay, think about what the trader's job is. She hangs out voluntarily in a. Like in a war zone, worse than a war zone, in a like zombie infestation zone, um, selling money, or selling money. <laughs> yeah, she sells money. She's like, you need some dosh. No, selling selling weapons to a gang of nut bars, who for some reason don't just take all her stuff. And I don't know. Maybe she's some sort of ninja. And if you tried to steal your weapons, she would just like cut your head off before you she's can even move. She's clearly a wizard. You know what? Oh, yeah, she she is a wizard because the well, yeah, the way she moves around, it seems not possible. All right, the, so we've the trader, a wizard, or, or just a yep. giant destruction. That that's the only thing that makes sense. Clearly, clearly. <laughs> All maybe right, that's so maybe that's why she. Wait a second. We've never seen the patriarch and the traitor at the same time. <laughs> in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> so she goes away at the last wave after you've bought everything, puts on a mustache, like grows to 11 <laughs> feet tall, sticks a chain gun and a rocket launcher on her arm, and gets all her merchandise back. <laughs> Mind blown. Yes. Yep. And she can all do right. it because she's a wizard. <laughs> Definitely a wizard. Well, I'm ready. How about you guys? I'm ready. Yeah, I'm always ready. 18 seconds. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Alex. So, ready. The f the I can't hmm? stand this patient. Pardon? <laughs> ready. Three, two, five, seven. The first time I played this map, I got wrecked so hard because I just had no idea where anything was. No, I mean, I guess that, that that's the case with everything. I guess we... Do we want to go to our usual hangout? Ah, they're coming! Oh god, nade! Wachoo! That, that's slow-mo, man. There's some mans. They're jumping so at me. So I, I, I lag loading in. So oh, I'm yeah. kind of lost. Oh, wait, what? Are you, like, way behind us? Yep. Save him! Save the man! They're everywhere! Are you back here? Oh, rescue mission right off the bat. Where did you go? Maybe we should just meet up with the traitor. I mean, That's the wizard. <laughs> okay, everybody get to the wizard. We, we will need to continue our... Ah, you're blocking me! Our um, role-playing session, because that was kind of hilarious. It, it was. I'm actually we quite were. impressed that I managed to pull that off. It was it was pretty legit DMing for on the spot. Well, that's that. Well, first of all, improvised DMing while playing Killing Floor and not losing. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's how we do it. As stupid actually, as that is, I feel it. like it's some kind of small achievement. Well, yep. Where did you guys go? It's an achievement in entertainment, I think. Right. Yeah. <laughs> great steps in entertainment. So I'll have to do, <laughs> like, I'll have to GM you guys, like, playing a game of chess in a <laughs> roleplay session while we play Killing Floor. What? <laughs> and then just my head that will burst be... like a melon. <laughs> yeah. also have to take... I, think, I think understanding that I already made my head burst like a melon. Yeah. 
all of the dash in that ramp. I love how color coded this map is. All the areas are very pretty. It's true. Fuck, 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 See, the fuck, level fuck. design kind of treads this line between having actual sort of realistic elements and it just being this co total like nut bar kind of setup. Yep. And very clearly a level. Yeah. Plus, like, like on in the other Foundry, level, where there's just all this stuff that doesn't do anything. Like, what does this wheel do? <laughs> don't, don't really know. It's like if you That's glance a at a portion of it, it's like, okay, this looks like an actual factory, but if you sort of look at the whole, it's like, oh, what? <laughs> Who designs their factory like this? Plan. It's true, this layout doesn't make any sense, right? No, but I mean, it's, you know, you're designing a level, not designing an actual area. Exactly. I don't know, have you played any games that, that have levels that actually look like the areas that they're supposed to be? Um, well, it's a factory, it's if they work treatment plan. I don't know, I can't like, really think of any. Well, that's sort of what I'm waiting somewhere. for, is something where the levels are actually look like real places and all the objects uh, you can interact with in a way that you would expect. There's the husk. That would be pretty interesting. Well, it would be interesting or, like, mind-blowingly boring. <laughs> hey, somebody wrote some graffiti here. Look at us. Look at us. But I really I wish there was, like, one of the specimens Do doing a selfie next to this. Yeah. Boom! Boosh! Oh, and there's, like, more graffiti over here. Yeah, this is just tagging damn kids. Sneaking into <laughs> the evil factory late at night and scribbling stuff with their sharpies. Into the factory full of whatever these things are. I have a problem are. with tagging. But I really, in general, like graffiti. Well, I mean, it's sort of, it's sort of a subjective thing, like any kind of art. But if you well, just, oops, like, tag and graffiti. tagging is you just write your stupid name somewhere where it's not wanted. It's just like signing graffiti something, because it's like, look, I was here. It's, it's, it's the sort of human urban equivalent of a dog peeing to mark its territory. And it's just yeah. as annoying. <laughs> No, you know what I mean? I feel like that's pretty accurate. They'll have the equivalent like to uh, a dog yeah, if, it hold, you know, yeah, if it's just and they're flies. Yeah, if it's just your name sort of scribbled out, it's just like, you're an asshole. Especially if you I'm just put up. it somewhere it's stupid and you can't read it. But if it's like a clever design or, you know, a neat no, logo it's and it's part put part somewhere... Part. If it's put on a wall that would be boring anyway, or somewhere that is interesting or clever... I like that. I really like it, but it's, you know... Sometimes it'll sh Well, a lot of times it'll show up just where it's really, really not wanted. And yep. maybe not even necessarily making some sort of a statement that's even interesting. It's just like, oh no, you're just a dick. Trying to wreck stuff. It's like... Uh, okay, okay, this like guy by the forklift had a very bad day. Yeah, I never oh, noticed wow. this guy impaled on the forklift before. Yeah, he's um. Please. He tried. He's just hanging here with the forklift. Did you ever see that Let's video of Forest Driver Klaus? What? Pardon? Forest Driver Klaus. It was like a sort of satire of instructional videos. A German. Oh, yeah. Video. Never heard of them. It's interesting. It's sort of like the Evil Dead meets the uh, All Jump Train video. It was. <laughs> Nice. I saw they're remaking Evil Dead. Oh, that's wait, wait, so stupid. That's like Evil I, me Dead? I think I mentioned this on the previous one. <laughs> they, okay, Evil yeah, Dead, the first movie was a played straight horror film. And it was terrible. <laughs> um, because it was just, like, it took itself too seriously. And it was unintentionally kind of hilarious because of how bad it was. Yep. They remade it. And Evil Dead 2, which is a hilarious movie. And also, like, super gory and, you know, serviceable as a kind of a horror film. And it's, it's wonderful. I love it. Um, it's a very good movie. 
And so now they're remaking it again? And playing it straight again? Yep. Yeah. So, why? To make the money. The answer... For, well, that's the scary thing. I would be figure, afraid, but... I'd be surprised if people thought it was scary even if it's not. I mean, people think American Horror Story is scary. Yeah, I'm well, serious. I mean... Uh, it's like... I watched, uh... Let the Right One In recently. Which, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is one of the like, American or Swedish one. I don't think I the, the no. I'm talking about the Ameri the the Swedish one, or the, yeah, the good one. Yes, um, I love that. Movie. I saw, I watched some clips from the American remake, and I was like, this is garbage. This is just like, why did they do this? No, the American one was total garbage. It didn't even need to be. Well, because they played it off as like just this conventional horror movie and it lost every bit of the charm of the uh the swedish one which is this really quiet subdued very subtle uh horror and, and all the little effects in it were really nice and sort of not overt like i mean from the beginning and i'm probably going to get into spoilers so you know stop watching here Spiral Spoil when alert. ellie well, when Oscar first meets Ellie, and she just she jumps down from like some sort of apparatus, it's like a like a shelf or something, and she just falls a little more slowly than seems right, and it's just like what? And the movie's full of little stuff like that. It's like did I? Eh? And it's just a little unnatural, and so it has way more impact because you you sort of have yourself kind of guessing, you know, like, did I actually just see that, or... I like little exaggerations like that, that make things seem unnatural. And I think a couple, at a, uh, a couple points in the movie, they make her, um, her irises a little bigger than normal, but <laughs> in such a way that you're like, are her eyes bigger? That's and so it's right. really creepy, because you're not sure. Right. Anyway, and, and a lot of the that it uses violence really sparingly so that when it does show up it has a lot of impact and some of it is is actually just infer or implied and almost not shown except, at all except not when she entered uninvited that part was just yeah that was like yeah again what they save that for when it's appropriate and it has a lot of impact yeah if the movie is just like it gets exhausting with you know having uh too much horror stuff like just non-stop like that's what the the first left or er, left dead evil dead was like it was just like nothing but <laughs> like maximum level gore going on all the time and it was just like eh. and the best animation back to back yeah the animation was hilarious yeah. evil dead 2 is such a funny movie because um, they, uh, like, they, they intentionally make really horrific, uh, continuity errors. So they'll have a, like, a, an intensely gory scene where you see a wall, and it gets just completely bathed in blood. And then they very deliberately cut to the next scene, and you see that wall, and it's perfectly clean. <laughs> Bad. Yeah. And it doesn't, you know, it helps that Bruce Campbell is basically a cartoon character. I've mentioned before, I think, that uh, the director's commentary for that movie is just um, Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell making fun of the movie for two hours. <laughs> it's pretty entertaining. Whee! Jumping! Husk. So, who Never was mind. it who mentioned the 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 mythos of of Killing Floor? Huh? In the first place. That's Caden. Yeah. Um, I f I didn't quite realize this. I, I figured that it made sense, but it was mentioned that all of the the uh, creatures in this game have like a story behind them, and they're so funny. They're so <laughs> silly. Like, this game is very cheesy. 
straight up. It's it's a very silly game, which is kind of why I enjoy it because it's really silly, and I'm positive that it knows it. As I meant, like as I mentioned at one point, you can play a guy in a chicken suit, and the yeah. the tie-in with the the sort of the loads of money. Um, thing is really deliberate and you can play that costume so it's like this game doesn't take itself seriously which is great so I can get away with anything um, but <laughs> the descriptions for where all of these monsters came from is so funny like the the scrape the, the dude with the dust mask and the chainsaw he was supposed to be like a super medic able to like withstand any amount of pain only they like made him too good and so now he's just like loves getting hurt and apparently has a chainsaw for a hand and just cause he yeah. also Riker because why not? his own skin or, or he does what the chainsaw the secret uh, um, I remember we did it somewhere but like, probably the the uh wants to cut itself that is horrible He's, so he's into chainsaw play, is what you're saying. <laughs> and I'd like to remind people that chainsaw play is an actual fetish that actual people actually are into, and that I didn't make it up. I could have died happy not knowing that. I am so sorry. <laughs> it's like... Guys, me and, me and Kenneth cut off. Oh, no. Right, we're playing a game. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, keep going, though. Well, it's like people will be into anything. It's kind of why people like, like watching violent uh, movies and stuff. There's, like, there's got to be a market. It's not necessarily a sex thing, but I really hope it's not a sex thing. <laughs> oh, it's like if you're watching oh, yeah, a Saw fun. movie and getting off on it, yeah, I think you need to see a therapist. In a very yeah, serious way. Uh, uh, oh, oh medic! Here, has he dead snow? You have no medic. Well, Dead Snow is another movie. I haven't seen it, but there's no way that movie takes itself seriously. Oh, it's about it's Nazi zombies. Or zombie Nazis. Wait, is there's a stuck? movie about Nazi zombies? What? Oh, yeah. Nazi zombies in it's the snow. Isn't it Norwegian? A Swedish version of Evil Evil Dead with Nazi zombies. Yeah. Or is it I saw Norwegian? the trailer for it's that. Norwegian. Haven't, haven't watched it. But no, it's awesome. You need to watch it. It seems pretty funny. Satchel, you need some medicine in your robot body. I'd love to heal you guys, but I'm just in the corner. That's just great. Fighting off waves. No, I don't want your med. I don't. I'm not into chainsaw play. I like you as a friend. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> he put it in my body. No. Run. I don't remember where I first heard about Chainsaw Play. Yeah, I've, I've never heard of it. It's a new one. Probably. I'm in trouble. Probably. Well, there's... That's one of those those fetishes that I sort of have a problem with. Ultimately, I don't. Because, really, as long as it's consensual, who cares? Yeah, exactly. Like, and, right. and people that are into that kind of stuff are... I would hope most of the time consensual about it because it's like how else do you convince somebody hey would you like me to brandish a chainsaw at you in a manner that you will find uh arousing <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay I'm totally yeah, down I with that I think more of the bright one's going to tap you up then you know uh... Ted stop misbehaving <laughs> like, um <laughs> you'll probably get the same kind of reaction out of an axe or a, a shaky. Yeah. To me, that just it just sounds like a bad idea. Like yeah. I understand the sort of, you know, like danger play, you know, it's like ooh, it feels, you know, the thrill of the risk, but it's like that actually just seems really legitimately dangerous. Yeah. Well, chainsaws? Yeah, yeah. Chainsaws are heavy and person screwed up one good bomb. You know, it's like can't you just role play a bit? You know, just <laughs> pretend like fake chainsaw? Yeah. You know, get a shit. Get like, a, take the uh, blade, blade off. Chainsaw. That would be cool. Take you know, you can dress up as, as uh, Leatherface, and, you know, you, like, make your best grunting sounds, and they're just like, oh, man, <laughs> he's gonna chainsaw me to bits. 
<laughs> kind of weird, but like I, I mean, if sure, it's if you're fine. Into that, stop, it, stop it! You know what? Stop it, stop it, totally stop fine. It. If that's if yeah. that's your thing, I wouldn't I wouldn't take that away from anybody. Yeah, me neither. It's when you that's start fine. try to trying to force your um your particular isms on other people that you get a problem. But it's just like if yep. you wanna, I don't know. Wear turkeys as boxing gloves and punch each other in the genitals over and over again. <laughs> Go nuts! What? I think that's I bet nice. that's not on you. <laughs> I've, I bet you I've just invented a fetish. Someone is gonna try that now. <laughs> Probably. It combines. That was yeah, great. Like well, it's, it's the quad, some sort of quantum fetish principle. The second you come up with something bizarre, for a thirty second later, a website for it goes up. Yeah. It's like this turkey video fisting. Will be such a thing. Oh no. I can't believe it. Wow. Well, I, I demand credit for inventing turkey fisting. <laughs> 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 or maybe just like turkey busting or turkey punching. <laughs> so weird. Yeah. We jokingly, half jokingly, at one point, I can't remember, my, a couple friends and I. We wanted to do a website that was like weirdest, sickest, most bizarre fetishes, oh, no. and it was actually just like ones that were so obtuse that you wouldn't be able to understand it. Like fully clothed women standing near goat. Oh. <clears throat> standing near goat. What? Yeah, near goats, or just like <laughs> a time lapse of a jar of mayonnaise expiring. It's like there are. Something where you could just, if you thought really hard, you could maybe construe some sort of sexual connotation out of it, but <laughs> not actually. Like, yeah, yeah. this sounds like it should be or could be dirty, but really isn't. Yep. You want to know a random fun fact? Ouch. Um, What's the fun fact? The most popular bed fish in India is hair. Is Wait, what? Hair. Just like... Like, just head hair? Brush the girl's hair. Girls will, their girls will grow their hair to like great lengths. You know, huh. guy. That is just about the most pedestrian fetish I've ever heard of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a normal, it's like, like this guy who you know shows up to a support group and it's just like I've got a problem, man. I, t I just really like women. It's like, well, like, what kind? So, no, just ladies. I'm really With into hair. ladies. <laughs> oh man. If they have hair, that's great. <laughs> I think they're a wrong group, sir. Sure. This is the chainsaw um, support group. Yeah, I feel like that would that's probably already been a sketch. Some guy whose fetish is like completely ordinary. <laughs> probably. Whoops. But there are tons of Indians that are just dedicated to girls brushing their hair. And girl can like make brushing their hair. Killing that's all. really see, that's cute. And also, that reminds me of, um, I saw, I, I probably saw this on 4chan, apparently, like, toothbrushing is a thing oh, now, yeah, uh, like in that's, anime? That's because of a series called Bakemonogatari. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, is, is that the one where the guy, like, brushes the woman's, or the, like, his lady's... He's, he's yeah, not, he's not oh, quite yeah. super crazy. He's not quite sister, he uh, decides to brush her teeth in a dare. Yeah, and it's all like super kinky. Yeah, it gets a it's little so off-handed because it's like, <laughs> yeah, because she's making all these noises and stuff. It's like, but they're just brushing her teeth. What the hell? <laughs> well, they're they're working uh, off uh, of the uh, principle that if someone else does it for you, something that you do every day, that you have a weird reaction. That's really weird, and kind of oh, makes oh, sense. Japan. Oh, I think, I can't remember if it was on Kotaku, now. some website, I'm dying, how, oh, um, somewhere I read about that, where the, the feedback from fans was, like, even weirder and creepier, it's like, I love it when so-and-so-san puts it in, or something, it's like, it's a toothbrush, what, you know what, can't you just be into something normal, like, you know, dick mountains or something? Ugh, shit. <laughs> What happened? There's another. Are, are we gonna have a TPK on. here? Because we're talking about dick mountains. Oh no! 
This is gonna be a real short podcast. Kaden, <laughs> don't die. You have oh, 88 shit, guys, like 80... you gotta champ mode this. How did we die? Well, we now we have to spot for him. Alright, right next to you. What, right that's what you. we get for not paying attention. <laughs> oh no, it's behind you. It's just always behind you. Don't stop moving. Go, go down. Oh no, jump! So much behind you. Uh, oh, pinned dear. in the wall. Pinned in the well, wall. <laughs> huh. Back up. Door stuck. Door <laughs> stuck. Well, I guess why don't we just continue this to the next map and pretend that didn't happen? All right. Sounds good. What is our next map? 